crafters welcome back to laffy crafty if you're a return subscriber thank you so much for being here welcome back i appreciate you if you're new to my channel get cozy stay a while don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video and ring the bell to be notified when i post fun new diys i was inspired to make this framed art from something that i saw from tj maxx and kirkland's i hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as i did making it for you For this DIY, you're going to need a picture frame. I actually painted this picture frame the color that I wanted it. You can paint it whatever color you would prefer, but I wanted a darker color. You're going to need some paper, coffee, some hot water. You're going to need some matte Mod Podge, a paintbrush. I used the top of my coffee can to put my Mod Podge onto. You're going to need a strainer. A serrated edged knife you need a serrated edge on that knife you're going to need two little bowls some paper towels you're also going to need a printer and I picked up this little mini iron from Amazon it was really inexpensive and it works great I'll leave the link in the description you also need an oven now gather your supplies and let's go Start by preheating your oven to 200 degrees. Next, you want to heat your water, either with using a kettle or a pot. Here, I wanted to show you guys that when I printed first and then aged my paper, it kind of faded. And so I decided to age the paper and then print. So that's why we're going to do it that, that way. Into your bowl or your tea, whichever you decided to use and um, pour some hot water over it to start brewing your coffee and set it aside. Well, grab your paper and let's get this party started. Let's get it started in here. So now we want to distress our paper. You're going to take your serrated knife and start just eating away at the edges of this paper. So, and just keep on going all the way around. Now, you're going to get little tears, but just pull out the pieces wherever the tears may occur and just go make sure you go inside that tear and scratch it with your knife to age it further and make it look more realistic now the corners you can just like tear off the corners or use the knife as you see me doing until the corners come loose and then just rip them off don't worry about rips or anything like that because we're trying to make the paper look as old as possible so any rip counts Well, this part is going to take a while so just know that you're going to need some patience to complete this part of the DIY. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you for your subscription to my channel to Charles Haddock. Thank you so much for subscribing to me and I hope you enjoy my future videos. So we're going to set our paper aside and grab our coffee once more. We're going to take that second bowl that we had standing by using a sieve, a small one that I have here. I'm going to pour the coffee into there and take the grinds out. Now that we have our coffee, we are going to get to the fun bit. We're going to start staining our paper. So I just grabbed a little piece of paper towel and I soaked it into the coffee and just let it hang out in that coffee bath. 
and I actually moved over to my sink where I could get it dirty and messy and it wouldn't mess up anything and I could simply just wash it away so I suggest you guys do this in your kitchen so here I'm just going to take the paper towel and just start dabbing it onto the paper until it is totally soaked through I even turned my paper around and did the back side also to make sure that it was all throughout the paper you want to pay attention to the edges a lot because you do want that darker more aged look to the edges you know how an aged piece of parchment looks it's really dark on the edges where it looks stained or what have you so pay attention to the edges and let's just go through over this um, whole paper and get it looking nice and stained okay ladies and gents we are going to grab our sheet tray for our oven that we did put that aluminum foil on top of and we are going to lay this paper out on it as smoothly as possible just lay it down and with no air bubbles or anything just smooth it down to the tray We're gonna just pop that into the oven and let it go for three to five minutes, roughly. A few moments later. Let's grab it out the oven and see what we got. So I'm sorry, but I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time as pulling this parchment up. So I only have one hand, but I'm just releasing it from the aluminum foil. And as you guys can see, we have a really nice piece of parchment there. I'm really proud of how it came out. Don't worry about the grinds that's still on it. We're going to take care of that. But when I flip it around, you can see that the backside is a little lighter. So it's up to you if you want to use the lighter side or the darker side. I actually want to use the darker side. I think it looks way more um, interesting, if you may. Now I grab a towel and on top of that towel, I'm going to iron my parchment so that it is completely flat. I grab my little iron that I got from Amazon and I'm going to go over especially the edges of this parchment because when we put this parchment into our printer we're not going to want it to be curling or have any parts that's sticking up because our, it will get stuck in our printer and we do not want all our hard work of our parchment to go to waste so after I'm done doing that I just put it into my printer now I made a mistake right here as you can see I'm supposed to flip the aged part that I wanted to print on um, printer side down and I put it up so it printed on the wrong side but I fixed that problem after but make sure you put the side that you want to print on print side down so it can print the right way. So after watching if you're inspired to make this just email me my email will be in the description if you want me to send you the same exact art that i used for this and i will get that to you okay so this is where i did it on the wrong wow. side i actually went back wow. and reprinted it on the wow. correct side as you can see that the darker side is not printed on and here i redid it so now we have it on the correct side and we are going to proceed with the framing of this piece before we frame this i'm going to just smush up my paper and crumple it up so that it would look extra extra old so i just did that and don't worry about the paper being messed up it's a strong piece of paper it's actually reinforced by us staining it so it is pe pretty strong now so just do that and what did i do i took the little iron and i just went over it lightly just so that it would have the distressed look but not look like we picked up the paper out of the garbage can and tried to put it back up there i don't know Bruh. um but yeah i just flattened it out a little bit and then here i am cleaning my frame with a little windex 
and getting it nice and clean with some paper towels. Okay, my fine friends, here we did lose some footage. I thought I was recording, but for some reason, it was not. So here, I'm going to take this piece of parchment that I didn't mess up before and show you what you're going to do with the actual parchment that you're going to stick down to your frame. Now, I have my paintbrush, my Mod Podge on my little cover here, and I'm just going to spread that evenly. You don't want thick and big piles of Mod Podge you just want a thin a thin layer so you're going to complete the step on the actual parchment that you want to apply to your frame I'm just using this one to show you guys what I did so spread that evenly and let's get ready oh so grab your frame and let's get this road on the show so we're going to take the back side of our frame not the front side the back side so flip it over and then we're going to flip over our picture as you can see here but I already did it and just uh, try to put it smack dab in the middle of that frame and then I just took a piece of cardboard I just ripped off a corner of a cardboard box and I used that to just smooth down the back of my uh, picture frame now you don't want to use something like a credit card or whatever because it's not soft enough and it might rip our picture so use a something soft like a piece of a carpet box anyway just use your uh, paper towel with a little bit of windex on it to clean around where the mod podge might have seeped out on the sides because we don't want a mod podge don't worry about the edges of the paper because the more distressed the better thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe i love you guys later